So in this question we are given a bar chart that compares the summer mathematics examination grades of two different classes in a school. And we can see that the grades are grouped as follows. We have A star to A, B to C and D to F. Now the question asks which of the following statements are true. So let's have a look at part A. So statement A says that 10% of the students across both classes achieved A star to A grades. So what we need to do here is find out the total number of students. Annoyingly we're not given it in the question. So the way we're going to have to do this is we're going to have to add up the heights of all of these bars. So we can see here we've got 5, here we've got 3, 15 here, 23 there, 20 and 14. So they're the heights of each of the bars so we're going to have to add these together. So we're going to get 5 plus 3 plus 15 plus 23 plus 20 plus 14 and that equals 80. So we can see that we've got 80 pupils in total. And now we need to see how many people have A star to A grades. Well we can see we have 5 in class 1 and 3 in class 2. Adding those together we have 8. So we've got 80 people in total and 8 people have A star to A grades. Now 10% of 80 is 80 multiplied by 0 0.1 which is 8. So we can see that this is true because 10% of 80 is 8 and we do have 8 people that have A star to A grades. So part A is true. Let's have a look at part B. So this is the same number of students in class 1 and class 2 attain D to F grades. Well this one's quite straightforward. We can have a look at the D to F bars here and we can see they're not the same height. We have 20 people in class 1, 14 in class 2. So we get that this is false. Finally let's have a look at part C and this says that there are 50% more students in class 1 who got grades D to F than there were students who got B to C grades. So if we look at class 1 we can see here that we have 15 people who got B to C and 20 people who got D to F. So we started with 15 and we've moved up to 20 and we need to know what that increase is. Well let's assume there was a 50% increase. So we started with 15 now if we increase a number by 50% we multiply it by 1.5 and if we do that calculation we get 22.5 so if there was a 50% increase we would have 22.5 but we don't we have 20 so we know that C is false the other way we could do this is we could actually work out the percentage increase and see whether that does equal 50% and the way we could do that we could think well what if we multiplied 15 by to get 20 in other words we could do 20 divided by 15 which gives us 1.3 recurring so we can see that actually there's been a 33.3 recurring percent percentage increase or it's increased by a third so of course the answer to this question is A only